What's going on everybody? This video is going to cover what may have been the most hyped up match of Madden 18 thus far this year between Skimbo and Problem in the quarterfinal of the Madden 18 Club Championships. Now, specifically this video is going to go over how Problem catered his nickel 335 defense to try and slow down Skimbo's prolific gun bunch passing offense out of the West Coast playbook. So, Real quickly, shoutouts to MJ Ballhawk4, Swerve God, K Man 12163, Brandon Denis, and Huge1000, all suggesting for a video on this topic. Thank you so much for the suggestions, guys. They really mean a lot. Now, getting into this video, a little context and backstory. Skimbo this year has really catered his offense and molded it around the very popular play Dig HB Out. If you guys don't know about it, uh, that backside deep post route coming from the solo receiver is very difficult to guard for any CPU defender, so it requires a lot of attention from your opponent's user defender, which can open up the other routes on the field. So basically, the main way Skimbo likes to run this play, this is by far this has been by far his most called play on offense this year, is he'll max protect so he'll block his tight end and his running back. And so you'll have the backside deep posts coming across the field. He'll streak the middle receiver in the bunch as a clear out. And then as you can see right here, he's gonna motion this receiver out and put him back on a crossing route underneath. And so what happens is you get a nice mesh over the middle, high-low between the underneath crosser and the deep post route. And that puts the opponent's user defender and really a bind a lot of the times because people like to delegate the middle of the field to their user defenders and you have to drop back and defend that deep post because a CPU defender usually isn't going to get the job done. So you have to bail to the post and a lot of people can hit the underneath routes and if you try and get greedy and bait them into throwing the underneath routes, a patient pocket passer will wait on it and open up the post over the middle of the field. So what Problem did to try and combat this play and it definitely seemed like he had this game plan in mind from the first snap, is he was basically cross-manning his free safety onto the receiver that he knew Skimbo wanted to put on that underneath crossing route. So he was cross-manning him, basically banking on the fact that Skimbo's receiver was going to be running right into him, and that free safety would be able to stick to him. Now, next what he was doing, because he was taking the deep left half of that Tampa 2 shell and cross-manning him, he was basically inverting with his cornerback and dropping that cornerback back into a deep half. So basically a cover two invert with that cornerback dropping back into the deep zone. So now he's taking away the flat zone. So what he did to compensate for that was he would drop this linebacker into the flat underneath. And then he would take his user defender and he was delegating his user defender to drop back and play the post route as it was crossing over the middle of the field every single play. So he was really keeping Skimbo in check for most of this game up to this point. Uh, Skimbo had called Dig HB out eight times and only averaged 4.875 yards per play. Uh, really wasn't able to throw that deep post route because Problem was being very disciplined at dropping back and defending it with his user defender and that was forcing Skimbo to either have to dink and dunk it down the field or potentially throw the ball away. Now I thought this example kind of showed the ideal scenario for Problem on defense you're going to see as the clip rolls, the free safety does a great job of sticking all over the underneath B receiver route. And you see problems staying disciplined, dropping back to that deep post. Skimbo has nowhere to throw the ball. And in this case, sometimes they would get a little bit of separation on the underneath route right here. The free safety plays it about as well as he can. But even if he did get some separation, problem had the insurance on the outside with that other linebacker. Now, something to note on this play. Problem doesn't get the pass rush out of this 3-3-5, which is pretty rare, but I just want you guys to notice how disciplined and how just knowledgeable Problem was right here, knowing exactly how far the route would go. As soon as the route stops, notice how Problem's user stops. Now, some people might slightly overrun it, some people might, you know, stop with the route, but a lot of people would then shift their eyes to the quarterback and have their eyes in the backfield and wouldn't, would get ca caught off guard whenever the receiver cuts back over the middle of the field but problem knows the timing he's all over the route and whenever the route cuts back across the middle of the field you can see problem underneath it and with inside positioning and not allowing skimbo a passing window to try and complete that ball as the receiver basically goes into scramble drill mode skimbo goes for the playmaker on the underneath route but the man-to-man -man defender keeps up with him skimbo has nowhere to go problem finally sends the spy and skimbo has to throw the ball away so that's really the ideal scenario 
uh, that problem was looking for whenever running that Tampa 2 setup against the Dig HB out. Now literally one play later and you're going to start seeing the chess match developing. So Skimbo said, okay, you're cross manning your free safety onto my outermost receiver who's running that underneath route. What I'm going to do is I'm going to swap responsibilities. I'm going to use my outermost receiver that you're cross manning to now run the clear out route deep. So I'm basically gonna take your free safety and run him completely out of the play. And now what this is gonna do is problems now gonna have to choose between either the underneath route that's now being run by this middle receiver. In this case, Skimbo goes with the hitch. You can playmaker it, you can leave it on the hitch. You can put him on an in, a drag, whatever. It's that underneath crossing route or problems gotta stay disciplined until what his game plan basically calls for and it's that he sinks back and plays that deep post so you're gonna see that happen right here problems free safety gets run out of the play and problem knows I need to sink back even though it's third and ten and that hitch route's gonna be an easy first down if he comes up and tries to play the hitch route he knows Skimbo's gonna hit the post problem has nobody you can see nobody allocated in the middle of the field to stop that deep post route it was all up to his user defender so now Skimbo goes ahead hits the hitch route underneath picks up the easy first down and that's really the first case of now of this game of cat and mouse evolving into a chess match where Skimbo is now hitting problem with the adjustments to what problem came into this match with that clear game plan. Now this next sequence of plays I just wanted to show you guys because I thought it was very crucial uh, leading up to that all important play where Skimbo does end up throwing that interception to problem and problem ends up taking control of this game after that uh, but basically what you're gonna see is Skimbo continuously hitting problem uh, with the underneath route now right here Skimbo goes with the in route problem still cross manning the free safety and problem still knows he needs to sink back but this is what happens uh, with that route that route and that's what makes this play so tough even though problem has this guy out here in a flat zone he gets pulled downfield uh, by that deep dig route so or deep post route rather so even though he gets pulled downfield He's not going to guard it, so he's basically a wasted defender. Problem knows he still needs to pull back and user him because Problem still has nobody in that deep middle of the field. And now Skimbo is going to start hitting him underneath with the dink and dunk. And that's, like I said, what makes this play so difficult. So that's one scenario of uh, where Skimbo was able to hit him underneath. Now a couple plays later, third and nine, and you're going to see the exact same thing. Now Skimbo goes with the motion out. He's going to have that receiver on the fade, the hitch underneath. This time, Problem, however, makes the adjustment, stops cross-manning his deep left safety, but that deep left safety in this Tampa 2 against this dig HB out is still really not going to end up guarding anybody. He's not going to make a play on that deep dig route as long as Skimbo is patient in the pocket and allows for him to cross the field and basically make it over to where that outside B fade route is able to clear out the deep zones from. And so Problem basically does what he can on this play. You see him sitting underneath on the hitch route. Skimbo goes with the playmaker. And at this point, Problem has to make the decision. Either I need to get depth to get back to that deep post route. Or I need to play aggressive and get underneath the playmaker. In this case, he decides to get depth. Skimbo sees it. Hits the playmaker hitch. Picks up 11 yards and a first down. Now right here, you're basically going to see... Now right here, you're going to... Now right here, you're basically going to see the same sequence of events and Problem's user actually over pursues a little bit. I think he was expecting the hitch route, got kind of caught off guard that the receiver ran the in. So Skimbo notices, hey, he's way behind. I can go ahead and throw this for a possession catch because he knows Problem's going to end up peeling back to that deep post route through it before the receiver crossed over to the flat zones and was able to make a tough contested eight yard catch. And now for the final play, and here's why I think all of those other plays were important leading up to this one singular play where Problem does end up getting the interception on Skimbo, and it's because since Skimbo made the adjustment of using his outermost receiver as the clear out receiver and then putting his middle receiver in that bunch on the underneath duties, it had been the same play basically every single time and the way Problem was reacting to it was the same every single time. Problem was bailing back to the deep post and Skimbo was able to dink and dunk underneath to either you know the drag route, the in route, the playmaker hitch, whatever it might have been underneath. He was able to hit it every single time and really as this play developed it looked like it was going to be much of the same. You have the deep dig or the deep post on the left developing, problem usering the underneath route at first and then most likely going to be bailing to the deep post. In this case Skimbo goes to the hitch route underneath as you see problem isn't cross manning his free safety anymore. 
And one thing to note in this case, Skimbo would have been better off not even playmakering the hitch route. I know at this point it's probably just habit to playmaker that hitch because it happens on almost every single play. Every time there's a hitch in it, you playmaker it. Uh, but in this case, the way Problem was structuring his defense, he was devoting extra resources to the sideline out here. So he was basically taking a hook zone and throwing it to the sideline. So he has nobody else other than his user defender uh, to user and defend that area of the field. So if Skimbo just stays patient and waits for the left post to develop, in this case, Problem would have had to pick. Either I need to sit underneath on this hitch route or I need to get depth to try and defend that deep post route. Skimbo could have just played off a of Problem's user, but in this case, he goes with the playmaker across the left side of the field. Problem stays with it, and at this point, what Problem had been doing, like I showed you guys in all of those examples, he had been bailing. At this point, you can see he's even behind the hitch route that's got playmakered over the middle of the field now. He's usually getting depth at this point, and right here, Skimbo's already throwing the ball. At this point, Problem makes the decision, I'm going to jump underneath. Skimbo's been throwing this route every single time. I'm going to take a risk, leave the deep post route wide open. As you can see, it's breaking to the middle of the field, and there's literally nobody there. Skimbo goes with the underneath route, and this is why I don't think it was an incorrect button input. I just think it was a great bait by problem. You could see he had been getting depth. It looked like he was going to bail to the post route like he had done literally every single other play in this half. And this is the one time he mixed it up and he caught Skimbo right here. Goes, jumps underneath Anthony Barr with interception. You see problem getting hype on the player cam right there. Gets all the way down to about the five yard line. And he punched it in a few plays later to take a 17-10 lead. And he eventually ended up winning this game 20-17. to So just a super high level match between two fantastic players. Obviously probably uh, the two players that are in the conversation as number one and number two on the greatest of all time lists. So you can't really ask for much better. Ultimate League is going to be an amazing experience with a bunch of great matchups. I can't wait for that. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks for the suggestion for doing a video on this topic. Like I always say, I do read the comments. So if you guys have any suggestions as to something you'd like to see broken down from either the club championship or even Ultimate League games, definitely leave a comment on it. And I'll definitely try and get back to you about it. So as always... Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, guys, take it easy.